hello to everyone how's everybody doing on this fine day i hope y'all enjoying your afternoon your day and all that <clears throat> my day's going really well we are getting ready to take a little ride uh come join me and uh we'll go for a little ride here and we won't put it up in the window here in a minute and let y'all see the sunset and all that go down so the video will be pretty good here in a minute all right there we go but anyway we're gonna take you to virginia with us and after i get out of here i'll put it up on the dash uh, let's see hold on one second guys all right then we're gonna set the camera up as soon as we get done But how's everybody doing? Hello, Big Bear's family. Uh, Big Bear's family's needing a car, so if you have one, please let me know. I'd appreciate it. And then I'll let them know. Like I say, they're a good family and they need a vehicle. Their vehicle is about to crap out on them. So, anyway, thank you all. If you have any, know, or know anybody's got a vehicle, let me know. Thank you. Anyway, we're going down the valley here. We're going to set the cruise control right there. Now we're going to... That's a good thing about having cruise control. It, uh, it, it makes you... Well, you don't get a speeding ticket. <laughs> I ain't got no speeding tickets, though, in a lot of years. Over 20 years since I've had one. Safe driving, that's what it gets you. It gets you... Good, but anyway, here's the sun going down. It's going down behind us, so everything you see the highlight uh, ahead of us of the sun. But by the time we get out and then get back, it'll be dark. And it's right now 5 05. Uh, hey, y'all like the time change? Y'all like the time change or do you hate it? You can see the car in front of us here, <laughs> the shadow. I don't know. I don't like it getting dark earlier. I like it being dark later. I wish they'd get rid of the the time change. I really do. Because I like it to be dark later, you know, because that way you have more time to do stuff at the evening. But it is what it is. They said a couple years ago they was going to do away with daylight saving time, but they lied. Government, I'll never forget it. They said, we're going to do away with the daylight savings. And uh, they did not. They're going to keep it, I reckon. Like, the, like I said, the government never does what they say they're going to do. They tell you they're going to do something. What do they do? They lie to you. Did you hear about Nancy Pelosi, what she said? She said that the reason why Kamala Harris lost was because of God and guns. How evil is that? Nancy Pelosi showing her true colors. She don't believe in God and she don't believe in her right to own a, a gun. She said so. I can't believe it. I can't believe anybody would be that evil and say something like that about God now. You're gonna tell us, you're gonna tell Americans who voted for Donald Trump, you're gonna tell them that the reason why Kamala lost was because of God and guns. That's something. Ain't no wonder Kamala lost. She was uh, ungodly against God and against our right to own a weapons, guns. That's the only thing that keeps us free, everyone. The, the Owning the weapons and owning the gun and God, that's the only thing that keeps us free. Anybody who don't believe in the Jesus and good Lord and God, they need to be gone out of our government. Cause that's why we got it on our money in God we trust you know you gotta believe in God or, or you ain't gonna have no country that's why the country has fallen so bad in the last four years with Biden and Obama ruling the country is because they took God out of it Obama really did see we've had now 12 out of the last 16 years has been controlled by Democrats that's why everything has gotten so bad. Because <clears throat> we only had four years of Trump. He fixed everything that Obama messed up. 
and then we let Biden get in there, which was another Obama term, a third one. Because, you know, you notice how Obama's been always around Joe Biden? He's been involved in everything Joe Biden has done. He's been to the White House. Even Obama himself said the vice president of the United States, talking about Biden, called him the vice president. And then he laughed about it real big, said, I'm joking. No, he wasn't. <clears throat> no. By, Joe Biden was only the president in name only. Uh, even Obama himself said in 2016 or something, I think, I think it was 2016, he said if I could have an earpiece in the, the president and be delivering the lines and uh, he'd be on stage and I'd be whispering in his ear to an earpiece, I'd be fine with that. Obama said that. It's in an interview. You can look it up. But that's what has been going on, you know, and everybody knows it. Come on, come on, turn in. But I'm, I, they said Obama, he his legacy is ruined because he picked the wrong candidate to the support. He he supported Kamala, and now his 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 uh, image is in bad shape. Of course, it always was uh, with the African American. Obama's, I think his uh, reign is over, hopefully. Hopefully he never gets back in a, another public office again. Because he wasn't supposed to be president anyway. He was born in Kenya, and uh, people say, no, he was born in Hawaii. No, he wasn't. He wasn't. He was born in Kenya, and they changed it and faked that uh, birth certificate. That's why it took so long for him to produce a birth certificate. It took him over four years to produce a birth certificate. Now, why? Why? Because they had to alter everything. And they had to make sure all the evidence of that alteration was uh, erased. The evil people, man. They tried to... They, they stole the election in 2020. And then when we went there to try to, you know, protest, peacefully protest the election results, that's when January 6th happened. Now, I agree January 6th should have never happened. You know, I don't agree with anybody hurting anybody or breaking into anywhere they shouldn't be. But really, they didn't. Nobody really broke into anything except for the BLM. I think Nancy Pelosi had that done to make Trump supporters look bad. That's what I really believe happened. What do you all think? I think it was a setup to make us look bad. Because we've never done anything before, you know, the Republicans and the Trump supporters have never damaged anything. Over the whole four years that uh, Biden was in office, we didn't tear up nothing. It was only on that one day. Now, and that's what they've been harping on for the last four years. January 6th, January 6th. And then all these people melting down. He's a felon! He's a felon! He's a convicted felon. No, he ain't. All them charges were brought up by a corrupt government to take down the person who would try to lock them away. You know, that's what I believe. I honestly believe that our government is corrupt on the Democrat side and on the Republican side too, somewhat. So Donald Trump needs to get in there and he needs to drain the whole swamp, get, get everybody who's corrupt out. I don't care if they're on the Republican side or Democrat side. If you're corrupt, you need to be gone. So, that's just the way I feel about it. But anyway, I'm going to be quiet and let you see the scenery. But what do y'all think about what I was talking about? I think I'm 100% nail on the head right. And by the way everybody voted, I think uh, most of you all think the same way. But anyway, nothing going on about that. I'm, I, I'm, we, we are over that now. we got to come together now and uh, be good to one another. That, now the the heal the healing has got to start for the country and the people. And once I think once Trump starts to fix everything, I think everybody will start coming together. It might take a year or two, but if everybody starts to come together, that would be great. I don't want to, you know, we don't want to preach divisiveness like it's been going on the last four years. We don't need to be divided. You know, we need to be together, all of us, Democrats and Republicans, and all of America needs to get together 
and be good to one another. So that's what I'm going to start preaching, you know, togetherness and happiness for everybody. We're all Americans, no matter what your beliefs are, we all are Americans. All right, we got to go in here. Pull right. It's where I always park. It's the easiest place to park. All right, here we go. Park right here. All right. Now I can talk to you a minute. But anyway, uh, okay, we're still going. The camera's still going. Okay, good. <laughs> but anyway, like I said, everybody, I love you all. I don't care how you vote. You know, as long as you believe in God, that's the only thing we got to do. We got to believe in God and come together, everyone. But I love you all, just like uh, just like y'all. My everybody who subscribed to me and everybody in the world. I love everybody. You know, I don't preach. We don't preach hate here on this channel. And if anybody does, if anybody says something hateful to another person, I'll delete you, comment, and I'll, I'll block you from the channel. So just don't say nothing hateful or negative. But if you know if it's not too negative, it'd be all right. But just don't attack nobody. Uh, I don't attack nobody for what they believe. I just tell them if they're right or if I think they're right, I tell them they're right. If I think they're wrong, I tell them they're wrong. But you got to do it in a peaceful fashion. You know, don't do it. Don't be mean and hateful about it. <clears throat> There's certain ways to do everything. Look at that house over there, guys. That's a really old house. Let me zoom in if I can here. Look at that. That's an old farmhouse over there. I love old farmhouse. That old Jeep would get out of the way. <laughs> You'll be able to see it. But that house has been there since the 1800s. Probably 1850s, 1840. Been there a long time. I love that old house. That old house is nice. I'd like to own an old house like that. Yeah, I really would. Beautiful old home. And they built it right there in a good place, too. It's right there. There's a road in front of it and then a big hill behind it. That's a good hunting spot. Go hunting in the woods. I bet they hunted a lot back in the day. But back in the day, they was that was the only thing there. You know, they wasn't this store wasn't here. This store, I don't know how when it was built. I think it was built in '89. This store right here. They still got the first dollar bill that they uh, started with. It's in the. Uh, it's in behind the counter. They've still got that. The first dollar they ever made here. I was one of the first customers that came in here. But that retirement is a beautiful farmhouse. I just love the old farmhouse. But anyway, we're gonna go out. There we go. Back out. We're gonna put this back in here because we're going now to the store, but then I'm gonna end it. We'll have about a 15 minute video here. Hope y'all enjoy it. Here we go. We're gonna back up. Make sure nobody's behind us. No. How'd y'all like the car video yesterday? I did a, about 11, 1130 last night, I done a car rev video. Sounds pretty good, this car does. Here we go, everybody. Now we gotta get over in the other lane. We finally got, I think we finally got the road work done over here on this road. They've been working on this road forever. Yeah, they did. They finally got that bridge work done. That bridge is, it took them forever to get done. We limit 40, and it's a speed trap too. Really bad. Here we go, everybody. Turn into the priceless. This is Weber City, Virginia. Right up there. Right here. Bum, 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 bum. All right, everybody. I'm going to shut the camera down. Uh, y'all be good, and I'll see you on the next video. We're going to do another 20 seconds, but I love y'all. We're going to go in here to the store, and we're going to get in the hair and shop a little bit. But we need a couple things. But I love you all. You all be good. Stay safe. And I'll see you on the next video. All right. Bye, y'all.